Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to retrofit an LTE module onto the FightTap Duo. Here's a bit of background on why this is possible. When we designed the FightTap Duo, we wanted to include every feature FightOS can support, including cellular data. However, due to the costly and lengthy certification that differ by country, we decided not to offer LTE as a factory installed option. Instead, we left an empty M.2 socket onto the main board for you to install a compatible LTE module yourself. The TF car tray also accepts a micro SIM for the LTE. So all you need is the LTE card and a 10A and you're good to go. This video will show you how. Quick warning, this process involves disassembling your FightTap Duo, which will void the warranty. Also, there's a risk of damaging the screen if you're not careful, so proceed at your own risk. Let's start with what you need. A plastic pry tool, preferably a large one like this. LTE antenna with adhesive backing and different lengths IPX4 connectors. You can install up to four antennae. We'll list the exact sizes and lengths in the wiki. The LTE module we're using is Quicktail EM05CE. You also need tweezers, a small Phillips screwdriver, and a soft cloth for scratch protection. Step one, disassemble the FightTap Duo by removing the screen from the body. Place the soft cloth on your workbench to protect the aluminum body. The trick here is to start prying at the right spot, on the right side of the tablet, just above the speaker holes. Slide the pry tool in to create a small gap, then gently push it in to widen the opening. Once you get the first buckle loose, Work your way around the screen, gently prying the buckles open. If any buckle gets stuck, twist the pry tool slightly, but don't force it. After loosening all the buckles, carefully disconnect the ribbon cable before fully removing the screen. Great, the hardest part is done. Now it's time to place the antennae. There are four slots for them, two at the top near the Wi-Fi antennae, one below the left speaker and one to the right of the battery pack. Make sure the cables point toward the LTE module, not away from it. Peel off the adhesive backing and stick them in place, making sure they're secure and flat. Step two, before working on the main board, make sure to disconnect the battery connector as shown. Now, insert your LTE module into the M2 socket. Securing it with the provided screw. Be mindful of the magnets in the tablets they can interfere with small metal parts. Step three, connect the antennae to the LTE module. This Quicktail EM05CE has three parts, but other modules may have four. I connected the top two antennae and the one near the battery for this demo, and the performance was good. You can experiment with different setups to see what works best for you. To connect the IPX4 connectors, you need to apply firm pressure. The tip of a screwdriver works great for this. Step 4. Double check everything is connected and secure. Reconnect the battery, then carefully reattach the screen. Make sure the ribbon cable is connected properly, then press the screen back in place. You should hear clicking sounds as the buckles lock in. Check the gap between the screen and the body. If it's even, you're good. 
Final step, insert a working micro SIM card into the tray. Since we disconnected the battery earlier, you need to plug in the charger to power the tablet on. Once FiloS boots up, you should see cellular as a network option. LTE won't be the primary connection if Wi-Fi is available, so turn off Wi-Fi to test the LTE. Let's open a website. Boom, it works. For more details, check out the full guide on the FiTab Duo wiki. Thanks for watching and happy hacking.